Hey everybody, James Yeager with Response. Thanks for watching. Well, you might notice I got all my gear out here. Uh, whenever I whenever I read books like this, it's like, oh, he puts his night vision on. Like, oh, I better check my batteries in my night vision. Or, or <laughs> he talks about his Winkler knife. I better get my Winklers out and make sure they're still sharp and not rusty. And But uh, what a what a ride. Um, literally, uh, literally, there are some of my tears on the pages of this book. And for for a book to invoke that much emotion for me is is not typical. It uh, it has happened in the past, but it's been some of the some of the greats. And um, so I have to tell you. Um, so this is my my official book report for the Terminalist by Jack Carr. And it's a photo of of the author on the back cover. <clears throat> this is the hardbound edition, of course. There, there's a photo of him back there. I've run to this guy any number of times. Never seen him without a smile on his face. I don't know who they got to take that picture or what. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It looks like Osama bin Laden probably said cheese. He was like, "Who? Who is that?" You know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this guy, uh, that's that's not him. If you go to a book signing, you're not going to see that guy because he always has a smile on his face when I see him. Of course, I have not been at him when <laughs> he's been in combat. So, uh, but. Um, the Terminalist by Jack Carr. What a I, I just can't I just can't get over it. Uh, what a what a fantastic book and um, um you know I don't want to give too much away um but um um imagine if many of the people that you love. And that doesn't mean just family, as far as like the the blood or marriage kind. It could, it could be your your brothers and you and you guys that have, uh, you guys that have been in harm's way with other men or women. Know what I mean when I say you know brothers, like people that you would you would do anything for. Uh, when when people are taken from you um, in some plot over money, again I don't want to give too much of the book away. Uh, it's it's horrible and. You know, there's different levels of people, your acquaintances, somebody kills them, okay, or somebody that's your friend or your bro, your family, you know, there's different levels of it. Let me tell you, they, uh, uh, Commander Reese, Commander James Reese, uh, SEAL commander in this book, uh, was, was, was spared no, nothing. And, uh, and, uh, this, so this book is, as you could probably imagine just from the title, this is his terminal illness list. Uh, and, uh, I have one. Uh, <laughs> people I'm going to kill should I contract a terminal illness and uh, and uh, Commander Reese did not have one and then uh, he started making one during this book and um, and so um, I, I got uh, I got um, I can't remember what page it was on but uh, literary term I can't, I can't I'll find it in here somewhere but uh, use the, the term ATM machine ATM machine Keith and Jack, the M in ATM stands for machine. Come on, guys. It's an automatic teller machine. So what you said is he went to the automatic teller machine machine. Come on. Come on. Amateur shit. But I'm, I'm not an English major <laughs> or professor, but the book is very well written. And for you gearheads, uh, you're going to like the... the, the the, the the mentions of um, the, the gear. If you, if you read, you know, like uh, Rogue Warrior and, you know, in those books and you hear about the Drager, well, the Drager makes a reappearance here, but also some stuff, as I mentioned, Winkler, um, uh, Mr. Winkler, uh, who seems like a really nice guy. I've just recently gotten some of his stuff, uh, uh, but uh, the different pieces of kit, you guys that are gearheads, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be in there, in there really well. And, um, but for you guys that are not, there is a, uh, glossary of terms like you guys have seen me do videos about at PL and uh, you know laser aiming device but f so if you and, and this book is not heavy on jargon so if you're if you're not into the gear you could really if it says something about a brand of a thing you could just skip over it you don't even have to pay attention to it but if you are into this stuff and you're like hmm okay I don't know that term easy boom flip it over now Go to the website, Jack Carr's website, um, and, I, and I'll put a link below if I remember, or I hope I do, <laughs> but go to the website because there's a full list of glossary. If you're interested in anything like in the, uh, there's a uh, there's a custom rifle 
in here that makes a particular shot. Um, if you want to know about that, more about that rifle, it's on his on the Jack Carr site. So this book is somewhat interactive because you can go to the site and find out more stuff uh, about the author. And there are book signings going on as I make this March of um, 2018 book signings have already begun around the country and I, I assume those will continue for some time the book has been very well received and, and for you guys that have not um, listened seen any of my other stuff a couple things uh, no matter where you got the book go on amazon.com mention the fact that this is you know for Jaeger's contest or something uh, in your review uh, but put your review up uh, at the end of April uh, we will pick I'll have Jack Carr pick somebody out of there for a five-day class. I'll have the author himself, uh, one of the one of the authors, you know, co-authored by two guys. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll have one. I'll have them pick out what they think, whatever review they like the best. That doesn't mean the longest. That doesn't mean you have to even like it. If if it's like a fifteen hundred words on why this book's a piece of shit, that's great. I don't care. <laughs> really, I mean, if you hate it, put down you hate it. Like you know, like I, I promise. And um, and I I might have to explain that to 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 the author. He he's not familiar with the internet and how it works. He doesn't understand that hate. Uh, you know that they hate us because the anus. You know they uh, <laughs> how it actually generates money, uh, but um, um, I, I I am I, I do not I do not have time in my life to read fiction, and certainly I don't have time in my life to read shitty fiction. Make time to read this. You know I, I mean hey guys you know you crack open Five Rings or Art of War. I, I get at some heavy reading. I, I get it. And, uh, and I typically, I, I, I'm so busy trying to improve the, the warrior side of my brain, I don't take time to improve the poet side of my brain. And this fiction here does a fantastic job on both. And um, it, is, uh, it is fantastic. Um, it, I, I don't really know what else I could say about it. Um, other than um, the writers um, are just both good dudes. Um, Jack Carr was was w was friends with Billy Birdzell and I. He's friends with Clint Smith and I. He was at Billy Birdzell's wedding at, with 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 me. He like he's 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 one of us. Like he is a he's a. He, he's, he's a dude, he's a good dude, man. And he's, and he's somebody that you, if you met this guy, you would want him to succeed. So what I'm telling you is this, if you can't read, but you have a table in your house that's not very level, order this book, put it under that leg of that table, because I'm telling you, this guy is worth the investment. This is James Jagger for Tap Response, reminding you that your responsibility to read the terminal list never ends.